Rogue One, A Star Wars Story is the first in a series of anthology films related to the Star Wars franchise, directed by Gareth Edwards. It follows the story of Jyn Erso, the daughter of the unwilling designer of the galaxy superweapon, the Death Star. The story follows Jyn, join a group of rebels as they quest to retrieve the plans to destroy the Death Star and restore peace to the galaxy. Despite having never seen a Star Wars film in my life, I surprisingly really enjoyed the film. Although the film was full of action and warfare and there are lots of things going on, there are some funny and light-hearted moments too. Most of these come from K2SO, who is voiced by Alan Tudyk. With his robot voice, he sees through all of the lies the characters tell and he says things like, I find that answer vague and unconvincing. It just adds this sense of like humour to what is a pretty tense story. Watching the film in 3D definitely increased my enjoyment and absorption in the film. Space rocks fly at you, I kept jumping because I thought the bullets on the screen were going to hit me. And the entire aesthetic of the film stays true to what I've seen before in clips and pictures of Star Wars films, whilst also adding new technology to it. There's some really great CGI and this might be a spoiler. <coughs> Princess Leia shows up at the end of the film, but instead of a new actress portraying her, it is Carrie Fisher, but Carrie Fisher from 40 years ago in the original 1977 film. Which is crazy! How do they do that? The film does a really interesting thing and in then it doesn't make all the good guys completely good. There's no massive turns in plot like in Frozen when Prince Hans turns out to be evil, but there are some ambiguities within it, such as Cassius, who is played by Diego Luna, has some questionable decisions that are being made which Jin looks at and asks, what are you doing? If you're supposed to be doing something for a good cause, why are you doing this? It's just really interesting to see how the characters' minds work in that respect and to not just reduce them to tropes of good and evil. On that note, let's have a talk about casting. It's really interesting to note that the rebels are played by women, people of colour and robots, whilst the Imperials, so the bad guys, are white men, which I think is food for thought. Are the directors and casting people trying to say something with this dynamic or is it purely a coincidence? Having Felicity Jones, who plays Jin Erso, as the lead role is fantastic. It's great to see a woman at the forefront of an action film, particularly because there's no romantic subplot built in for her, which is great because then we just see her for the feisty, well-spoken, well-intentioned, but still flawed character that she is. It was also really enjoyable to see flashbacks to Jin's past. It's nice to see that character development and seeing how that has influenced where she is now and see how that plays into the wider plot of the story. Michael Ghiaccio's score of the film is absolutely perfect, ranging from tension to light-hearted moments. It complements all of the visuals incredibly well. The film also sits really well in the current social and political climate of our time as it talks about things such as oppression and rebellion, particularly with the quote, rebellions are built on hope. Overall, I'd give this film a solid 4 out of 5 stars. The visuals are stunning, and for a first time Star Wars watcher like me, it was engaging, and I think I might want to watch a few more of them and really catch up with what I've been missing out on. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and press subscribe down below so you don't miss any more videos from the Barbican Young Reviewers.